All righty, baby, it's all come down to this. On one side, we have Luffy, kind of. And on the other side, we have all the Straw Hats and Brooke and uh, I guess Luffy as well. Well, I forgot Gecko Moria on the other side as well. It's it's complicated more than I thought. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 365 and 366 of our One Piece watch today. And like I said, it's a big confrontation. Oars dash Luffy has gotten outside and all the Straw Hats see him while Luffy is still chasing gecko moria down it's it's just kind of chaos if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big wood bell and let's hop into these ba -ba -ba -ba. oh i see them he was a ghost you guys wouldn't believe what went down we can check the skeleton off our list what list oh yeah i guess the whole like all the strides aren't together since uh absalom still has nami that's still kind of a uh objective here <laughs> <laughs> of course, Saji's just confronting him. He's been brainwashed. Nice to meet you. At least he has manners. God, he's such a unit. Only Saji can just stare him down and just light up a cigarette. Bird brain. Uh, yeah, there's not much going up in that noggin, Sanji. I mean, at first he did, yeah. Water, water. Brooke is just shocked. I guess that Sanji's like standing up to him. But I think it's just because of the way ores looks. <laughs> well, yeah, they only wanted Luffy's shadow to create ores. This is what he wanted to put in them. Like I said, I feel like it shouldn't be that difficult to get salt down him. Leave this to Sanji. Uh, I, don't, I think stepping in wouldn't hurt. <laughs> oh, true! Actually, I didn't think about that. Nobody ever does. It would be ironic though for the this giant beast that has like a brain the size of a pea to recognize him. My goodness gracious. It's perfectly ironic. Your whole face. Oh no. Huh? Oh no. <laughs> Gecko Mori is just like the definition of like the troll face, bro. He's just playing around a little bit. What do you mean a dead end? Do you not know your own house, brother? Not exactly yet, to be honest. Why do you feel like that? <laughs> I'm waiting for Luffy to go second gear, man. He can pop off so much harder. Like, it feels like he's just trying to have a nice, cordial conversation with Gecko Moria when it should be the opposite. This is a warlord, bro. That's oh, so haunting how his shadow moves. Well, that Orz is like alive and like actually working for you now? What do you mean, what happened? What? Oh my gosh, they are still fighting? I totally forgot! Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna knock some sense into them. Who gave you permission? <laughs> is Hogback even alive at this point? This entire place's infrastructure is just is collapsed to another level. Not even physically, but like the actual infrastructure. He's blushing. Oh my gosh. Dog. This temporary scuffed wedding setup, man. There's no way he gets away with actually kissing her, right? Right? Please. <laughs> Kiss the bride. Hurry up. Please, no. Something else. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Please don't tell me he kisses him, though. He's gonna fly into it. Oh, no. Bro, that's a bat. What was that? Oh my God. Him. <laughs> he's about to throw up. Absalom deserves everything, bro. He's just so annoying. He's by far the weakest part of this arc. I'm a little preoccupied. Because you are. Oh. Bro just shot Hilden. What is happening anymore, man? Everything is just in shambles. <laughs> Dog, everything about Gecko Moria, man. It's all funny. He's just playing around with them. Oh, the shadow. Dude, Hilden is doing like all the heavy lifting around here. 
Yeah, it's not hard to. His footsteps are the sounds of bombs going off. Is it the news about ores? Because everybody knows, dog. Oh. Oh, shoot. Run into trouble. Like, hit land? I don't think Hilden can turn the direction. Because it originally got messed up because Orz was pulling the chain. There's no way Hilden could do that, right? That's a giant chain. But if, if, if Gecko Moria told him to do it, obviously there's some way to. I feel like that's foreshadowing that they're actually going to hit land or something. Sanji 1v1ing Orz was not on my bingo card, though. Brooks, like these guys are actually psychotic. This is just like that one scene from Attack on Titan. I just can't put my finger on it. It's one of them. Just name a season, name an episode. It's probably there. Robin is not having any of this. Like I said, he's so huge. It'd be easy to just like get around him like a little ant. Like somebody just needs to bite the bullet and just throw themselves at him and throw salt down him. Can't be that tough. Sanji, you got to go find this wedding, man. I can't believe at this point Nami hasn't woken up either. I love how he still uses like gum gum moves. <laughs> no, but if Ors could, that would be absolutely terrifying. It's just so big it didn't even need to. Yeah. What's the name before? Yeah, that's what they said. Continent Polar is so cold, man. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. I love how it's, it's apt that Robin knows too. God dang. Sanji brave as hell, man. And nimble. Just swatting him like a fly. Guys, you have to help. You said you didn't want to get in his way. He's literally like perishing. Surely they step in! Anything? You guys cannot be seriously standing there. Thank you! Oh my gosh! It took Usopp shooting! Wait, fire actually... That could really do some damage. Atta boy! Out of anybody to step up, thank you! Oh, he just threw Sanji. Oh man, Sanji's gonna be in rough shape. <laughs> and the reindeer eating cotton candy? Bro, is the cotton candy picture from the Foxy Pirates? Oh wait, no, that had it had to be from Water 7, right? Because the photographer snuck in. Yeah, use your new blade, Zora. Let's get it. Oh my god, he drop kicked the bridge. Poor Brooke is just being carried around. Go, Zoro! Oh my goodness gracious. He's juicing. He's back to three. That is so cool. Got a whole tusk. I guess it's not a tusk, it's just a tooth. You're asking him that now. Oh my goodness. No, he's gonna jump. Dog, he's so nimble for his size, yeah. Oh my gosh. He fights like he's been in the body for like his whole life. So he fights like I imagine Oris fought. It's almost like there's no part of Luffy left, like at all. It sounds like the gum gum, uh, I guess natural inclination. But aside from that, there's nothing. He knows exactly what to do. Like he's comfortable. Holy. Everybody about, about to be out of commission at this point. <gasps> Zoro's dead. Usopp coming in clutch again. There's salt. Yes! That's not gonna be enough, is it? He's gonna need more. There's no way it's that easy. Unless, oh. Pause. Oh. Oh my gosh, Chopper! There's an intimidation factor. Bro, how much salt are you gonna have to throw down him? Then maybe going after Gecko Moria is the strat. Or shout out Chopper though, he's, he's ready to take the initiative. And now he's dead. That's what he gets for trying. Oh man, like everybody's out. Zoro too, I'm guessing he was in the net. Okay, well that had to have been enough. Everybody's like down. His eye is completely white. More salt, Usopp! More salt! Oh no, his eye's back. Not even remotely. All right, well, uh, this is going disastrous to say the least. I, uh, I... I, I thought they would put up somewhat of a fight and they did, but I feel like it took a little bit long uh, for all of them to sort of step in. Is that just me? Episode 366, let's get it. Five, six, 
Oh. Bro recognizes oh. Soga King and Jake. Sanji's picture. Uh, Incredible. Uh, He's missing one. Which one though? Oh wait, no, two. Uh, Nami too. Uh, oh no, he does see Usopp uh, as an outsider. Uh, and he's Luffy and Nami. Uh, and Usopp to him. Uh, and the cool uh, hero. I can't, man. All right, just laying them all, leaving, leaving them all laying there. So I need a status on Hogback, man. That's gonna live rent free in my brain. Perona. Oh my gosh, she's still having like nightmares. I did not think we'd cut back to her. She's having nightmares of Usopp, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> how menacing. Is this how she hears him? Yeah, he does look scary. Oh, so she's gonna wake up. See, this is even more nightmarish, much more nightmarish. Who gave the bear gum? Bro is smacking back there. Yeah, Orz is taking out everyone. Anybody in his path while Luffy just chases Gecko Moria. Bro jump scared me. He's looking for someone. She's gonna speak back to him. <laughs> yep. Where do you hear that? Her down on the grapevine. Hog back got stepped on. Even we don't know where Nami is. They're in some place for the wedding part too, but it never showed where. They're gonna take the stuff and leave on Sunny? Oh my gosh, no! They just got it, bro. Fresh upgrades and all. First you take all the food off it and then leave with it? Is she finally waking up? Oh my gosh. Finally, Nami! Perfect timing! Oh my gosh. Why was she unconscious so long? I'm still at that age where I want to go on adventures. <laughs> Queen of the Graves? What a terrible title. Oh. Is that worse? <gasps> Lola! Wait, that's perfect! Wait, no, Lola will actually want to kill Nami because she'll think Nami is here by choice. And now she's going to think that Nami lied to her. Nami, so she's still calling her that? Bro, she was quite literally kidnapped. Where has Lola been this entire time? Trying to steal Absama. My goodness. Cool. Lola, you have to understand. Actually, she would never see Absalom in a bad light. Don't know? Or what? You're gonna say, she's a man! Wait, will that make him stop? No way. No way. No shot. I was half expecting to be like, I do not care. There is no way that this is how it's solved. Ah, uh, all the way back when we got back to, when we got here to Hogbacks. Oh my gosh. There's no way he tiptoed like that. Did he knock himself out? Bro, like bust as soon as she wa- Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Boing, boing. Is he gonna be like, never mind then? Oh, wait, she's helping her. <gasps> Yo! Yo! Shadow Lola! Aww. Aww. Dang, so Lola actually did take Nami's word over everything. I was not expecting that. She's been so, like, headstrong about one thing this entire time. Oh, no! They should hide. Oh, wait, that's gonna piss Nami off. I was gonna say they should fight him together. Absalom heartless, bro. Absalom, you and Lola are literally made for each other. You're the same, like, just over the top. Actually, Lola has more... And actually, Lola's too good for you, Absalom. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Oh, Nami about to go sicko mode on him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the bride would like a word. She gonna find a wedding dress, too. Smart move. Oh, you think she's giving up? Clueless. Oh, damn. Nami does look really mad. Holy. I feel like she actually does have sort of an advantage against him because a lot of the weather elements and stuff could be AOE. So even if he's invisible, she can still hit him. Just surround an area. That's stuck with Lola, too. <laughs> I think aside from getting out of the situation, she still did want to be nice to Lola. My friend. My friend. 
Oh, shoot. Wait, Nami, what is this? That looks dope. This is some new Klima attack to upgrade? Dive into my... Bro is clueless. There's no way. Is he just gonna take it? Oh, wait, he actually did. The zombie and the priest are still watching. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, wait, no. I, I think it's doing something, Nami. Is he actually down? No shot, bucko. That's it! She just ran up to him and smacked him with Klee attack. Oh my gosh, he was like hallucinating. I, I can't feel bad for him or anything. Like he's he's just creepy, man. He's just he's he's just he's creepy. Like Sanji's a little bit of a perv. Uh Absalom is is just like full on just sexual assault. And then he perished right here. Oh my gosh. Dog, he's gonna be like out for the count for sure. That yeah, he's done. Very swift justice for Lola. She's like disappointed. <laughs> Was he already weak? Yeah. Sanji got him to it, got him to that point. He did kind of say, like, under his breath that he was still feeling his injuries from Sanji. <laughs> Lola! She's okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, she's gonna admit it. But, like, she could also tell her the truth that she's been trying to run this whole time. Ah! Aww. Wide open, bro. Y'all both got some issues, man. It is insane. <laughs> My god. Is that the end of that saga? Or is this getting frustrated? No way. Does the rock land on the shadow? Or Luffy? Oh, probably Luffy, yeah. Oh, wait. Nice! Luffy just doesn't even question the rock that fell from the sky. Waste of time. Deforestation! Hey, all those trees could have been alive. Where is Gecko Moria even running to, bro? Like, is he just playing hide and seek like the like the shadow? The whole crew's still unconscious. Oh, were those two of the guys that have lost their shadows? I wish they had seen Gecko Moria go running by. If only they knew. Oh my. Dude, he's just intimidating. He's so large. At this point, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna be honest, Gecko. Impossible. He's just slowly looking through every crevice. He's gonna destroy the whole place eventually. Oh, Frankie's up. Oh, okay. I think everybody's kind of getting up. Rose? Not even close, I'm gonna be honest. Thank you, Robin. My goodness. Uh, that's it? <laughs> oh my gosh! Sure. Oh shoot, Frankie's got his pillar nunchucks. Oh shoot, strap in. Oh, this is a cool standoff. All their eyes are darkened. You know they mean business. And then Frankie's just got glasses on. Oh, I got they told Brooke to stand up to the side. They're like, we got this. It's cool because Frankie's part of the, the team now, so they can be a part of the group shots like that. I like how the show inherently was like, you've you've seen everything with Absalom. Like, we, we need to move on from this. So I think that's why Nami kind of just one-shot him. Because to be honest, that's that's definitely the weakest part of any of Thor. I've been enjoying Thor Park a lot, but that is by far the weakest part of it so far. Especially Absalom as a character, because like I said, it's just such a cool power. Like, also how he hid the cannons and whatnot. Used on a character that's just not very intimidating intimidating to me at least i mean yeah he like he, he commanded the the general zombies but they were kind of like taken out in one fell swoop and since then he's just been obsessed with trying to kiss and marry nami but something really nice came out of it the entire friendship with nami and lola was really sweet actually but now we have this this big confrontation the straw hats round two versus oars hopefully they don't try one at a time this time and luffy is still chasing down gecko moria who knows how that will end up guys that's me for episodes 365 and 366 of our one Peace watch, so do drop a sub on the channel if you are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.